COVID quakes have put great stress upon families. Sadly, there's been an uptick in the rate of divorce. Nonetheless, the coronavirus pandemic has brought about some needed changes. Many couples are curtailing the frantic pace of kids' after-school activities. Many are more involved in their children's education, including their spiritual education. And most profoundly, many couples are letting go of an unrealistic notion of marriage. Let me explain. Bradford Wilcox is a conservative marriage advocate, and Eli Finkel, a liberal secular psychologist. Together they wrote an article entitled, Is This the End of Soulmate Marriage? By soulmate marriage, we mean a marriage that makes as its highest goal the personal fulfillment and individual expression of the husband and the wife. And the problem is this ideal is rarely achieved. Finkel called it an all or nothing view of marriage and it contributes to the rate of divorce. Hardship can actually help to reverse that trend. The need to protect loved ones, the necessity of facing economic insecurity. Even the loneliness brought about by social distancing can bring about a greater appreciation for marriage, even if your marriage is not ideal. Rather than a me first view, perhaps in a new normal, we'll see a trend toward family first, self less marriage, because ironically, in the long run, self less marriage contributes to greater joy and satisfaction. Now, we who follow Jesus have known this principle, even though we've not always followed it. Jesus said, The greatest among you will be your servant, for those who exalt themselves will be humbled, and those who humble themselves will be exalted. Let's make selflessness our new normal.